Hey guys, so today I am here with my December Birch Box, and I am so so excited because you guys know that Birch Box is my favorite monthly subscription service. If you do not know what Birch Box is, it is a $10 a month subscription service for beauty and like skincare and hair care, just all things beauty basically. And I totally love it. It has been like my favorite since I subscribed in July. And I love it so much. So I have my December box to show you guys today. And I love, love, love the design of this box this month. Usually they're just like the cardboard uh, boxes. But I love this one. It's blue and it has gold uh, polka dots on it. And then the side has this really cool gold pattern. I am for sure going to be reusing this because I love it. I reuse all my merch boxes. But like I have them like hidden away. I'm for sure reusing this one and like putting it out because it's so so cute. So this is my December birch box and I'm super excited to show you guys everything that I got. Alright so the first things in here are two different cards. The theme this month is decked out and this is what the card looks like and then of course it has all the products there full size prices on the back and then a little like blurb about them. I love that Birchbox does this. It's one of my favorite, favorite things, so I will keep that out. And then the other card says, hello friend, looking for ways to make your holiday brighter. How does $10 to spend at the Gap sound? Thought so. Register at gap.com slash Birchbox to claim your $10 gift redeemable at a Gap store near you. But hurry, this offer expires December 30th. Ooh, that's exciting. So, and it says one gift request per member slash email address. So I'm really excited about this. Not sure if I'll use it. I'll see if Brian wants anything from the Gap. Maybe I can get Gap Kids stuff. We'll see. But it's a $10 little gift code to Gap, so I'm pretty excited about that. So inside my box this month, the tissue paper is this really pretty light blue. And there is what everything looks like. The first thing in here is the product that I chose from my sample choice. If you guys didn't know, Birchbox has lately been doing these sample choices where you can pick one of your samples or you can pick the like pre-curated box. Last month I did the pre-curated box, but I totally missed just picking one sample and like getting the rest of the box as a surprise. So this month I for sure just wanted to pick a sample. So the one that I picked is from Vasanti Cosmetics and this is the Kajal Extreme Rose Gold Eyeliner. This is such a good size. The full size of this is $18 and it's such a pretty color. I don't own a rose gold eyeliner and I was so excited to try this because when they were showing it in the like sneak peek video, I just kept thinking to myself how pretty this would be in the inner corner just like to highlight. So I'm so excited about this. This is the first time I'm swatching it. Super, super creamy. Really, really pretty. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it's so pretty. This is going to be so nice, just like in the inner corner, honestly. And I'm really, really excited about this. So I'm glad I chose this. I'm going to favorite this in my Birchbox little favorite section. The next thing in here is from the brand Embryo Lease, which I have never heard of before. It looks like it's in French. Um, it's the Lat creme concentrate. I probably just totally butchered that. The full size of this is anywhere from $16 to $28. It says a makeup artist fave. This French moisturizer heals dryness and preps skin for foundation. I've actually been looking for a new moisturizer to use before I put on like my primer and my foundation and stuff. So this is definitely something I'm going to give a try and I'm excited to get. Um, it's such a small, small size. It's so cute. And it's one of those like metal-ish type containers you know the ones that like aren't plastic like if you push it in like it leaves the indention that's exciting but I am excited to try this I'll definitely put this just right back there and use it with my um in the morning before I put on my foundation looks like I'm gonna have to get like a knife or something to pop the top off because it's like all metal so I'll try that later but I'll definitely leave it out and it says since it's such a small size you guys will probably see this in an empties sooner rather than later next three things in here are from Laura Mercier and I love Laura Mercier the first is like a little sample pack um, it's not on the card but it's a tinted moisturizer sample and it comes with three of the tinted moisturizer shades nude sand and tan I'm actually not any of these shades nude even the lightest shade in this little little sampler set nude is still too dark for me plus this doesn't even look like it comes with like a lot of product you know what I'm saying so I probably won't give this a try I'll probably pass this along to somebody but it was still nice to be put in here and something that maybe somebody else would want to try however the other two Laura Mercier products that I got I am super excited about the first one is this little mini fan brush which I've always wanted a fan brush but I just never you don't really need one it's not like a necessity in a makeup collection especially for somebody that's I don't know, I guess if like you're like a super makeup collector, it would be a necessity, but for me, like I like makeup and I like to collect it, but not like intensely. Um, it's not something that I really needed, but I really have wanted one for a while for highlighting. So I'm so excited to get this one. It's so pretty. 
Oh, and this would probably work so perfectly, and I love that it has a little brush guard as well. So I'm really excited to have this. Um, and it's Laura Mercier. Her brushes are always really, really nice. So very excited about that. And the other thing is the Universal Invisible Loose Setting Powder. I have always wanted to try this for myself. I used to use this on clients at Sephora. Uh, this one and then like transparent, like yellowy one. And I loved it and I loved the finish of it, but I've never tried it myself because I've been so set on like the Makeup Forever HD one because I love that one. So I'm really excited to give this a try. It's a really nice size. Um, it says the full size is $37. I don't... Actually, that might be true because I really, really like this stuff though. So I'm super excited to have it. A really decent size, especially for a loose powder. You do not need that much to cover your whole face. So I'm really, really happy to see some Laura Mercier products in my box. All right, and the last two things came in this little pouch. The first is from the brand Wish. Wish, W-H-I-S-H. -H. It says it's a Birchbox exclusive. This is the Shave Crave Shave Cream in the uh, scent Akai Grapefruit. And the full size of this is $20. I've been in need of a new shave cream. I just kind of use like my soap as like a shave cream. It doesn't really work that well, but I mean, it does the job. <laughs> so I've been in need of a new shave cream, but mmm, this smells so good. I love the way grapefruit smells. I think grapefruit and like mango are two of my favorite scents. But this smells super good, so I'm so excited to try this as well. It's such a nice size too to give it a try. And a full size of $20 is not bad at all. I can definitely use my brush box points on this if I really, really like it. And then the last thing in my box is this right here. This is from Beauty Protector, which I actually really like this brand. Uh, Birchbox sent me, I think it was the Beauty Protector hair mask. They gave me like two samples of it in one of like my first boxes. Totally loved it. So I'm really excited about this. This is the Protect and Oil. And the full size of this is $25.95. This is also a Birchbox exclusive. This customer fave hair oil defense against UV rays, heat, and breakage. Work one to three drops into damp hair or to the ends of dry hair. Perfect for all hair types. So I'm excited to try this. I love hair oils. I think I got a hair oil from Macadamia and a Birchbox a couple months ago. And I'm still using it because the sample size is actually massive. So you don't go through oil that fast. So I'm excited to try this. This is a decent size. Let's smell it. Whoa, I don't like the opener though. It smells okay. I don't like the packaging the way it's open like that because I feel like just like trying to pour a little bit into my fingers is going to be a hot mess. However, I am still excited to try it. Um, I just need to find a way to like not spill it everywhere. That is everything that came in my December Birch box. I am really happy with everything. There's not one product in there that I'm disappointed in other than the sample packet from Laura Mercier, but that wasn't even on like my list of things. It was just kind of like an extra, so I can't really be too disappointed, but I love Birchbox. It's been my favorite box for the past few months, and I highly suggest signing up, especially in the new year, because I'm so excited for Birchbox. I just love them so much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to me if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.